All right, what's up guys? This is Jake and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can block shipping to specific locations in your Shopify store. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how you can block shipping to specific countries, states, you could even do zip codes, uh, specific address lines such as PO boxes, etc. So in order to do this, we're going to be using an app called Easy Checkout Controller, which you can get to by either searching this in the Shopify App Store or clicking the first link down in the description. And then once you've installed the app, you're just going to want to open it up inside of your store right here. So we're going to come down here to checkout validations, and this is how we're going to block shipping to specific areas. So. What this is going to do is this is going to create a checkout validation rule. So whenever somebody tries to check out in your store, this rule is going to be activated. And if the specific requirements are met, then the checkout will actually be blocked. So we're gonna go to create validation. And for this first example, we will block shipping to specific countries. So for this example, we're just gonna block shipping to Canada. So what we have to do is come down here to the if condition and there's a bunch of different conditions you can choose here, but we're going to scroll down. We're going to say if the country equals and then we have to input Canada here, but the but the app uses country codes instead of like the actual country name. So you have to open up this list of country codes right here. So you can search for the country that you're trying to block. So in this case, we have Canada. So let me just put in CA and then we can choose to block checkout and then we could put in a error message right here that says sorry we do not ship to Canada and you can choose where this error message will actually show up. So I'm going to save this rule and then we're going to go ahead and demo this at checkout and then I'm going to show you how you can add multiple countries in here and then we'll take a look at how you could do it for states or other things as well. So jumping over to the store, I'm just going to go ahead and add a product to the cart and then we're going to attempt to check out. So I'm going to go ahead and enter an address right here from Canada. So if I switch this to Canada, so you can see that I just entered a dummy email address here in Canada and now the error message is showing up that says, sorry, we do not ship to Canada. And if I were to come down here and try and check out, and if I were to click on pay now, we can see that it's not going to let us check out because our shipping address is set to Canada. So that's how we could activate a rule to block shipping to a specific country. But let's say we wanted to block it to multiple countries. So if I were to edit this rule, we can see that right now we have if the country equals Canada. But if we wanted to block shipping to another country, we could just add another conditional block here. So we will keep it as match any. So if country equals Canada, or in this case, if country equals, we'll take another country off of here. So we'll do France this time. So we have if the country is Canada, or if the country is France, then we're going to block the check checkout with this message here. So I'm going to save this rule. And then let's go back to the checkout. And we'll try this again. So we can see that now we've inputted the French address right here. And we can see that now that it's showing up, sorry, we don't ship to Canada or France. And if we were to try and check out, it would be blocked once again. Now, just to show you that it will work if we are not shipping to these countries, if I were to switch this to United States and then put in a address for the United States, once this updates with the shipping methods, we'll now see that the error message is no longer here and we could check out as usual. So that's how you can block shipping to specific countries. But now let's take another example because you can literally do this for any type of location. So if I were to delete the second condition, we could change this first con condition and you can see that we can choose to block the shipping based on any variable here in any part of the shipping address. So we just did it with country. You can do it with the zip code. You can do it with the state or the province. You can do it with the city. You can do it with the address lines, which would let you do it with PO boxes, for example. So let's take a look at doing it by state. So if I choose state code equals, we'll do Montana. All 
and we'll update this rule and then we'll jump to checkout and we'll try to check out again. So as you can see, now that we come back to the checkout and because we have an address where the state is set to Montana, we can see, sorry, we don't ship to Montana and we will not be able to check out. So you pretty much get the idea of how this works. So let's go ahead and switch this to, for example, address line one and two. So in this case, we could do something a little different. So right now we've been doing equals exactly. So let's say we want to do something different such as block shipping to PO boxes. So we could do if address line one and two contains, you could set it as if it contains PO box, then we will block shipping and we could just say so now this means if the if this term right here shows up anywhere in the address line one or two the checkout's going to be blocked but p.o box can be written in a couple different ways so we'd want to create a couple different conditions for this we would just duplicate this same one and we do address line one and two again contains you can do another variation and you can do as many different variations as you want for the sake of this example, I'm gonna stick with these four and then I'm going to click on save here. So now we're going to go back to checkout and we're going to try this again. So if we go back to the cart and we go to checkout, we'll see that our Montana address is now working properly, but let's see what happens if we were to enter a PO box address in here. An apartment number, it would work fine. But if I were to enter PO box, we can see that now it's saying we do not ship to PO boxes. I can change it to one of the other variations that we have, and it's going to block the shipping as well. So any of these variations that show up in the address line one or two is going to be blocked. So you can see that there's really no limitations to the locations that you can block shipping to. Using this app, you just have to make sure that you set up your if conditions properly. So that's how you can block shipping to specific locations in Shopify using the Easy Checkout Controller app. Be sure to check out the app by clicking the first link in the description or by searching for it in the App Store. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in another one.